Welcome to Highland Wildlife Park, home of the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland. This video will show you what to expect when you visit. The park is in the heart of the stunning Cairngorms National Park, seven miles from Aviemore. You can get here by car, bus and train. The nearest train stations are in Canusi and Aviemore, with regular trains arriving from Edinburgh, Perth, Glasgow and Inverness. Local buses also arrive from Carbridge, Aviemore or Newtonmore. If you're arriving by car, you can drive directly into the park. Tickets can be purchased in advance on our website at a reduced rate, or you can buy them at the point of entry to the park. Members of our charity, the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland, can enter for free and the guests receive a discount on the ticket price. You can find out more about our membership benefits and how to join on our website. Please note that only assistance animals are allowed into the park and we do not allow dogs to be left in vehicles in the car park. There is a list of local kennels on our website if you're traveling with a pet. Once inside the park, you have the opportunity to explore over 100 hectares and over 200 amazing endangered animals. Why not start your visit in the drive through reserve to spot our herds of roaming bison, deer, and Shavolsky wild horses. For everyone's safety, please stay inside your vehicle at all times and do not touch or feed the animals. You can drive around as many times as you like before the reserve closes, 30 minutes before the main park. When you're ready to explore on foot, we have a free car park for you to leave your car and please take note of our one-way system. You can then tour the park, seeing the animals from numerous footpaths and viewpoints. Visitors with limited mobility may want to use one of our electric scooters or rough terrain wheelchairs. They are available on request on a first come, first served basis each day. Please speak to a member of our staff when you arrive. Oh, and before you get going, don't forget to pick up a map to help you navigate the park. Toilets and baby changing facilities are available throughout the park, both inside and in the form of port -a Our handy map lists them all, as well as our designated smoking and vaping area. There's some flat and some steeper pathways around the park. We recommend breaks to take in fantastic views of the highlands as you explore. If you're looking for snacks or a warm meal, our Antlers Cafe offers a sit-in and takeaway options with spectacular views over our Japanese macaques to the Spey Valley. Many of our enclosures are large with lots of natural foliage for our animals to enjoy. Be sure to visit different habitats throughout your day as the animals are often active at different times. We have lots of outdoor and sheltered seating for you to sit back, relax and enjoy a meal at the park. And with local vendors on site, there is an option for everyone. No family day out is complete without some playtime. Children can have fun in our polar play park before spotting Scotland's only polar bears. Most of the park is outdoors, so we recommend bringing sunscreen, hats, appropriate shoes, and clothing for the weather. There are plenty of great places to sit outside and enjoy a picnic by our Himalayan tar or a snack by our snow leopards. The weather in Scotland can be unpredictable, so you might want to bring some suitable clothing just in case of rain or snow. Some of our animals may be seeking shelter from the rain as well, but don't fret. There are some sheltered areas in and around the enclosures. There'll be some exciting changes over the next year as we are building Scotland's Wildlife Discovery Centre at the park. Please bear with us while construction work is ongoing and we hope to see you again when it's open in 2023. Before you go, why not drop into our Wild Things gift shop and discover our range of souvenirs, gifts and keepsakes. All perfect for remembering your wild day out at the park. If you hired a scooter or wheelchair, don't forget to return this to a member of our team before you leave. We always recommend another trip around our drive through reserve to try and spot a few more animals before you go. When leaving the park, follow the one-way system and the signs in our park to exit by car. If you're catching a bus or train, you'll walk along our boardwalk, just here, and down the entrance road. Always make sure to note public transport schedules and availability before you travel. Visit our website for more information about Highland Wildlife Park. We look forward to seeing you soon.